The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Well, those iconic arches we see are just one of the many notable features of the Stade Louis Deux, located here on the French Riviera, a truly unique venue. How are you reading this formation, Jim Begley? Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. There's the whistle, and here we go. Plays it out to the flank. Gaitan. Chooses to go back. Has a goal! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, the work rate to win the ball back was fantastic and it set up the opportunity. That's great effort. Gaitan goes short. Renato Sanchez opts to play it back. Goes for goal! Oh, that's a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. himself into trouble there free kick given away well red he sorted that out seems now to be all about width well when you have the personnel to create in wide areas then they need to see as much of the ball as possible number one it is deadlocked with a delicate ball Cleared without complication. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Played out to the right. He's made sure that that won't get through. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. One. 
tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Reflections on the first half. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. So, off we go once more. Lille can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Tries to dink it in. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Keeper sees it all the way. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Very well to intervene. Gaitan. It's anyone's ball. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. it out to the wing it's a very good battle there terrific to watch just brushed off the ball there He's looking to find the extra gear here. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Number one. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. They're making life really hard for themselves. The ball needs to be in the mixer, not there. Decent progress down the left. Aimed in towards the centre. Cut out in the nick of time. Here comes another cross. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. What a finish that might have been. So after that very late drama, we are still level here. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been vibrant, I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant, and we just need the scoreline to, to step into line. So 90 minutes, couldn't produce a winner, and we have extra time. Turn test this for the endurance, for the character of the players as we head into extra time. Well, that's where he wants it. Number one. Looks to clip it forward. Renato Sanchez goes looking. And it's Gaitan. Gets it back. We've reached the midway point in extra time. Yeah, it's still goalless, but will it be a refereeing decision? A mistake or a moment of magic now that makes all the difference?
and so the last chance to find a winner. 105 minutes of football and it is still goalless. It is going to come down to one moment. It's intriguingly poised for me, and players are thinking, well, should we stay or, or should we go? I'd like to think fortune favours the brave, and I'm urging them to, to be bold and go for it. Forward it goes. Battles to win it back. And that is it. There will be penalties. Yeah, the longer it went on, it kind of became inevitable that it would end this way. And, and while each defence can be proud, they've got very little say from here. It's up to the keepers now. 120 minutes of action have taken their toll, but have proved inconclusive. And now this is it. Real tension here then, as the first man readies himself. So, the first penalty. And he's found the net. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Oh, he saved it! I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. And the lead is two. Lorient trailing by two now. That's how it's done, he made the keeper commit. Brilliantly done, never took his eye off the keeper either. Keeper's gone the wrong way. Two to the good. Lorient can't afford to miss another one. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. Lille have the chance to pull away here. And the keeper's come up trumps. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. Oh, what a save! I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. So can he do it? That's won it! Lille won it amid such drama and such desperation.